Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, today I'm pleased to rise in this House to begin second reading of Bill 202, the Mandatory Reporting of Child Pornography Act. That said, Mr. Speaker, I am sad that this is an issue that even requires a piece of legislation or that Albertans would have to worry about it. But wishing that the issue of child pornography was not a problem does not make it go away. As a former Solicitor General and the former Minister of Children's Services for the Government of Alberta, I had the opportunity to work very closely with law enforcement officials. As the Solicitor General, I witnessed heartened police officers break down in tears as they describe the images that will forever sear it into their minds. I listened to them outline ways to help reduce the number of children who had been exploited to satisfy a sexually deviant sex pleasure, and I heard that we needed to give them more tools to go after criminals. That is the purpose behind the private member's bill, Mr. Speaker, and why I hope that every member of this House will support it. The goal of Bill 202 is simple and straightforward, to mandate the reporting of child pornography. It does not intend to mandate seeking out child pornography. Rather, it would require that if an individual believes that a particular material is, or may be, child pornography, that is mandatory to report the incident to the police or other reporting entities. This bill would also provide important protection for those who report this vile material and ensure that no repercussions for reporting are experienced. In addition, Mr. Speaker, Bill 202 will establish actions that a reporting entity must take following a report. This includes, but is not limited to, ensuring that the en entity performs an inspection and where it is believed that child pornography is occurring, a report is made to the Child and Family Service Agency or law enforcement agency so as to both to protect the child and apprehend the offender or offenders. When I first began to serve in this house, the internet was in its infancy. Email was relatively limited. Personal computers were starting to take off. Our world has changed and our laws must keep up, Mr. Speaker. Each of us know the unspeakable evil that child pornography <coughs> represents. Because I was a Solicitor General, I saw some of the material that investigators came across in their efforts to put these sexual deviants behind bars. As we try to focus on what Bill 202 is truly about, let me paint a picture for you and members of the Assembly and Albertans. Imagine a small house in a community. It could be anywhere. Imagine walking up to that house and walking up the stairs to the second floor. Imagine a door that is closed and you hear some noises coming from behind that door. And then you open that door. Then imagine stumbling upon something no one should ever see a small child, and we'll call her Jennifer, being sexually violated, and this abuse being broadcast through a camera onto the internet as orders are taken by sexual deviants about acts to be committed on that child. Imagine stumbling upon, across these images on the internet and calling your internet service provider and reporting what you've seen. But the company cannot give police some of the information that they need to stop the crime and track down those who are paying for these acts to be committed against Jennifer. Jennifer is the face of one child. There are thousands more like her that face complete degradation at the hands of pedophiles and sexual deviants. And it is these kinds of images that will never leave my mind. And the impact of these crimes will forever scar children like Jennifer who were abused and who were violated. Mr. Speaker, this Assembly has the opportunity to help prevent child pornography from widening its web in our communities. This Assembly has the opportunity to turn people and companies who become aware of child pornography into Good Samaritans who can give a law enforcement the information they need to stop the crime in progress. This Assembly has a chance to prevent other James or Jennifers from being victimized and forever hurt by child pornography. The intent of this bill is simple, it is clear, it is straightforward. Law enforcement supports it, many Albertans support it, and I hope all members of this assembly will support it.